This is the New England Patriots news feed on CLNS Media. Today is Wednesday, December 27th, 2017. I'm Michael Lundy reporting for CLNS Media, the leading online provider of audio and video coverage for all New England sports. Patriots running back Deion Lewis had possibly the best game of his Patriots career on Sunday against the Buffalo Bills, and he was rewarded for that game on Wednesday when he was named the AFC Offensive Player of the Week for Week 16. Lewis had a career-high 129 rushing yards with one rushing touchdown on 24 attempts, while also catching five passes for 24 yards and a receiving touchdown in New England's 37-16 win at Gillette Stadium on Sunday. This is the seventh time this season that a Patriots player has earned a Player of the Week award, and the second time this season for Lewis, who was named the AFC Special Teams Player of the Week back in Week 10 after his kick return touchdown against the Denver Broncos. Lewis becomes the third Patriots player in franchise history to earn both an Offensive Player of the Week and a Special Teams Player of the Week award in the same season, with the other two being Julian Edelman and Doug Flutie. With depth at linebacker a serious question and their pass rush lacking a certain punch, the Patriots made a somewhat surprising move late Tuesday and signed former Pittsburgh Steelers linebacker James Harrison for the remainder of the season. Harrison, who was released by Pittsburgh on Saturday, was not happy with the amount of playing time he was getting with the Steelers this year, appearing in only five games and notching only one sack. The 39-year-old five-time Pro Bowler was signed after his visit to the Patriots practice facility on Tuesday, and fellow linebacker Trevor Riley was released to make room for Harrison on the roster. As we head into the final week of the season, the Patriots have firmly planted themselves at the top of both the NFL.com and the ESPN.com NFL Power Rankings for Week 17. In the NFL.com rankings, New England stands ahead of the Minnesota Vikings at number 2, the Pittsburgh Steelers at number 3, the Los Angeles Rams at number 4, and the New Orleans Saints at number 5. In the ESPN.com rankings, the Patriots are ahead of the Steelers at number 2, the Vikings at number 3, the Rams at number 4, and the Philadelphia Eagles at number 5. And finally, Patriots fans will be in for a treat in the lead-up to Super Bowl 52 whether or not New England ends up in the big game, as ESPN has announced that its new 30 for 30 film entitled The Two Bills will premiere on February 1st, just three days ahead of the Super Bowl. The documentary will feature both Bill Belichick and Bill Parcells in a live joint interview and will trace the pair's relationship from their success with the New York Giants in the late 1980s all the way up to the point when Belichick succeeded Parcells as the head coach of the New York Jets and eventually the New England Patriots. The film will premiere at 9pm on Thursday, February 1st on ESPN. That's it for today's Patriots news feed. To get even more up to speed on the five-time Super Bowl champs, follow CLNS Media on Twitter at CLNS Media and on Facebook at Facebook.com slash CLNS Media. And be sure to subscribe to the CLNS Media New England Patriots post-game show and the Patriots Beat podcast feeds, available on iTunes and Stitcher, as well as on YouTube and the free CLNS Media mobile podcast app. This is Michael Longy for Patriots News Feed. <laughs>